Hey guys, did run with podsphoto.com. Here we're gonna do another photo shoot, and in today we're gonna do a quick. Uh, oh, just forgot the name of it. Uh, basically, stock photography, or you could also call it product photography. And we are gonna do some nice shots of some uh, corsages. Hopefully, I said it correctly. Uh, these were made by Tina Lee. I'll post a link to where you can find more of her creative, artistic little things that she makes. But here's a quick view of what I'll be shooting, what I'll be shooting with, and my basic setup. Okay, so here we go. So here's my setup. I have my tripod here. I have my product here, this really really nice croissant it is in fact just one of them, I have some more that I have to take pictures of I'm going to be using two shoot through umbrellas, you can see my lights down there for one of my flashes some cleaning material, and it's basically just for dust that's a spray can that I need to put away, my little table here I'll be using this surface, a flat black that's where the spray can, spray can came in handy for that. Another light stand here. I'm gonna do a two light setup. Here is my gear. Uh, as you can see, somewhat little messy. It's, it's okay. I haven't. I'll do some more in-depth view on my gear a little bit later on. My camera. Oh, a little lens hood. I'll be using the 70 to 210 and also not this one but oh, my 50 millimeter f1.7 to get some nice creative shots with this one and some standard ones with the other one I have my flag here without the bounce card so I'll be using basically the umbrella I have another little dummy flash basic flash this will be at full power this will be my main light shooting at full power and using the this other one that I can control a little bit more as my fill light I should just start taking stuff out but it's okay also my little laptop where I'll be editing some simple editing if not I'll just go to my little workspace and yeah that's basically it those are the things I'll be using I have some more stuff in there but I won't take it all out and then my other little tripod for this camera in particular so I'll set that up right now and yeah that'll be actually I'll put it more over here because the umbrellas might be in the way but yeah okay uh, I hope you enjoy
now for some of the specs that I used for this photo shoot. Uh, I had I ended up using only the 50 millimeter one. I was used, I was at f between. Oh, oh I, I kept on going back depending on how I I, how I like the shot between f8 and f11. I tried one at f13. It was nice, a little bit underexposed, but it's good composition for them. Oh, it looked cool. Uh, so yeah, between f8 and f11, I also was running between uh, one one sixtieth, uh, basically around around one sixtieth. I would either drop down to 125th to see how that looked and then went up to 200th to see how that looked and yeah those were basically what I was on this camera uh, if you noticed I also had a little trigger for one of the flashes this one here's the little receiver and as for the Sony flash this has built-in wireless, so I was basically using that wireless for this camera. And the way it w it does is wireless is through uh, its little pop-up flash. I guess it reads the pop-up flash and then it fires. But you know, a, a little pop-up flash, a little bit of extra fill-in light doesn't hurt. And yeah, that was basically it. I was gonna use two umbrellas. But then I decided to just do one and uh, hopefully I did post the pictures as I was taking them. If not, you can see them at uh, facebook.com slash photo. I hope if I remember to put them. Uh, yeah, and that was basically my little setup here for this small little product photography, stock photography, floral photography whatever you want to consider it or categorize it okay that would be it for today anything else oh yes I do recommend flat black as a background it gives it a nice dynamic feel to it it makes especially the flowers like this one in particular this last one try not to mess it up that yellow on a black background well, with a back black background looks very very nice uh, yeah that, that, that's basically it uh, these run with potsphoto.com check out uh, my work at facebook.com slash potsphoto follow me on twitter.com slash potsphoto follow my blogs at pots.dot photo dot uh dot blogspot.com also potsphoto.tumblr.com also I have a Flickr account don't use it much but I do have some images there flickr.com slash potsphoto and obviously my YouTube channel youtube.com slash potsphoto and anywhere else I have images no that would be it if anything check out my actual site at Hotphoto.com Okay, see you later.